guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today with a haul from Trader Joe's. I spent a little over $100, so let's get started. I'll start over here with the produce. I got some shredded kale, and then I also got some frozen French green beans. I love these things. I also grabbed some broccoli and some cabbage. I'm gonna do a couple of different things with this cabbage. I like to shred my cabbage and stir fry it with the shredded kale. And then I also like to make fried cabbage and all sorts of other things that I share on my What's For Dinner videos. I grabbed a couple of nectarines. I think they were 69 cents each. And then I grabbed these um, beef short ribs. I did try these last time I went to Trader Joe's and I'll make sure to link my last couple of Trader Joe hauls in the description box. I like them a lot, but I cooked them in the skillet on the stove top and I said next time I would definitely grill them. So that's why I got them to give them another try. I grabbed these scallion pancakes. I think I have grabbed these before, but I could not find them in my freezer anywhere. So I grabbed another bag to give them a try. Also have some chicken chow mein. I do like this. I don't buy it that often. Um, there's not a whole lot in here um, just for me and my husband to split. I usually have to bulk it up a little bit. So I usually add broccoli or something like that to give it more bulk. And then I grab these vegetable bird's nests for the very first time. I've never had them before, but I've heard lots of really good things about them. Let me turn it over for you. I thought they had zucchini in here, which I do not like zucchini at all, but there isn't any zucchini. The vegetables are onion, carrot, and kale, and they're in a tempura um, mix. So, and it comes with the soy dipping sauce, and a lot of people say they make these in the air fryer and they're delicious, so wanted to give them a try. Also grabbed a couple of boxes of pork and ginger soup dumplings. Howard really likes these things a lot, and I said I was gonna give them another try, so grab that. Also needed some shredded carrots for a recipe that I'm gonna be trying. We really love these flatbread tarts, so I grabbed two. Um, Howard works from home right now, and so um, these are great for me just to throw in the oven for a quick lunch for us. I grabbed some tempura shrimp. I've never had it from Trader Joe's. Other places I've, I have had it, but I wanted to give them a try from here. And then we really like this mac and cheese. It's so good. And there are two servings in a box and it's great for a quick dinner when, you know, I don't feel like cooking anything. I can just throw this into the microwave. We also really like this Kung Pao chicken and it does have peanuts in it but the peanuts are in a separate package and so I usually don't add them to the stir fry. Go right back up here. I heard that this yogurt is really good and I do enjoy yogurt. So uh, they have several different varieties. I grabbed the raspberries and cream and the Meyer lemon cream. I grabbed a couple of these smoothies for my one-year-old son and then I needed some um, half and half for biscuits and gravy that I'm gonna be making soon in the organic half and half and regular half and half for the same price, $1.99. I have been looking for these PB&J snack duos ever since they came out and I finally found them today. They are crispy peanut butter wafers and then you get a raspberry fruit dip. And then I saw this Tuscan cantaloupe and that is new to me. And it's supposed to be the little sign above it said it said that it's three times sweeter than a traditional cantaloupe. So I'm excited to give that a try. I really like these key lime tea cookies. I tried them a couple of years ago when they came out. And so I decided to grab a box today. And they're kind of like, if you've ever had a lemon cooler or a lime cooler with the powdered sugar, that's what they remind me of. And I really like these a lot. Last time I went to Trader Joe's, I grabbed these um, crispy peanut butter filled peanuts. These things are so good. Um, they are basically, it's like a chocolate peanut filled with crispy rice and peanut butter. And the consistency of the peanut butter is really creamy, so it's not like a Reese's peanut butter cup filling. It's like a creamy filling, and it's really good. And then I grabbed this sparkling lemonade. I've tried their strawberry sparkling um, beverage, and I really like that, and so I figured this would probably be really good too. 
I've recently gotten into orzo and I've been trying all sorts of orzo recipes and so I just needed to grab some more to have on hand for recipes. I needed some more cooking oil so I grabbed this canola oil spray and then I finally found my almond butter granola. Been buying this stuff for years and every time I have gone back to Trader Joe's, I have not been able to find this. I thought it had been discontinued and finally it's back. So very excited to see that back. Grabbed some butter almond thins, really like these cookies. I don't buy them all the time, but I decided to grab them today as well as these butter waffle cookies. So I really like these things too. So that is everything that I picked up from this Trader Joe's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.